Here's Brody Brazil. You know, when we talk about making safe landings and then making them consistently, there are a couple things to consider that, you know, is on everybody's mind. Like, number one, a stabilized approach. I firmly believe in that, whether it's airspeed or altitude. You don't want to be having a lot of wide-scale variations. You want to be very predictable in your descent and how eventually this airplane is going to touch down. The other thing is it truly is all about energy management. Trading altitude for airspeed, understanding what you're doing this entire descent and how to make it easier. And, and I guess going back to predictability, knowing what's going to happen, you know, several hundred feet ahead of where you are. But there's also something quite simple, a third element that I don't think enough people discuss. However, I realized in actual flight training, as well as my own flying, that it is important. And it's something as simple as this. Sorry, let me throw in some more flaps here. It's your seat height as it relates to the instrument panel and the flight deck. This is the normal view here on Flight Sim. This is the landing view, right? Those are two totally different perspectives right here. And especially as you touch down, you realize from that round out to that flare, your peripheral vision, it is so important. It is so imperative. How do you get more peripheral vision, better peripheral vision? You put yourself in a landing view. So this is something that applies to not only, if you're going to call it a game, this game of Microsoft Flight Simulator, this is something that truly applies to real life. Do you have the proper perspective in your seat to actually land this airplane? Let me show you the normal view. Here's the normal view. And watch the difference it makes here as I get over the numbers. Bang, I switch it to the landing view. All of a sudden, I can see where I'm at. I can see that I'm going to touch down right on these markers, hopefully, as I kind of finesse it down or just after them. There's the mains. I let the nose down, um, get on the center line here. You can understand what a difference that is to that is right there. And I mean, that's all totally different from, you know, some people who barely seem like they can see over the panel. So finding your correct landing view, finding the right seat height, it truly is critical, whether you're talking about real flight operations or something like this with Flight Simulator, set your seat so that you have a good perspective over the panel. I think you want to see some engine cowling in a single engine trainer like this. I think that's a good rule of thumb. If you can see a bit of the cowling while you're landing, especially in that nose up attitude, it's going to greatly help you make smoother touchdowns and ultimately safer landings.